This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. The Center for Disease Control has reported an outbreak of a new virus that affects the brain and regenerates dead tissue, prolonging life after clinical death. Please remain calm and listen to the radio or TV for official news updates. Stay indoors and maintain protective measures until notified by the media or public safety. You are advised to minimize contact with all outside surfaces. Avoid droplets and residues. Remove contaminated clothing as soon as possible and place in a sealed plastic bag. Wash exposed skin with soap and water and shampoo hair. If exposure is known or suspected, report to the nearest medical facility as directed by public health officials for evaluation and treatment. Inform the staff you may be contaminated. It is important to stay calm. Although local and government authorities have responded to the outbreak, there may still be dangers. What seems like a safe distance or location may not be. Unless told to evacuate, avoid roads to allow emergency vehicles access. Please stand by for an action message from your local authorities. Hey guys, with the election season coming up, I figured it'd be a good time to go over uh, a little bit of prepared civilian kind of stuff. Uh, I know this is a topic that a lot of people cover, but I figured I'd give my take on it. Um, this is not really intended to be a you're going to have to bug out scenario kind of deal, but you got to be prepared for a lot of different situations. Uh, you got civil unrest, you got, you know, potentially in a city near you or in a city 100 miles away. It can vary uh, your response based off of what you see happening in your immediate surroundings. And when the pending threat increases, you're either going to have to fortify your existing location or potentially relocate to a new safe one. So with that, I'm going to go over specifically the Doomsday Duffel. This is uh, a bag of the things that are quick and dirty items that I need to grab in the event that something bad happens and I need to relocate myself and my family away from uh, wherever we're currently at. And so this is, this is it. First and foremost, in this kind of situation, you're gonna want some kind of long gun. This is my preferred setup right here. This is a 14.5 that I put together. It's got some Sons of Liberty and Geisley Cold Hammer Forged parts and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, it's got a Polonium K 556 suppressor, Surefire Turbo, Trigicon ACOG, and an offset aimpoint T2. Enough with that. Onto the bag. So this is a standard USGI duffel bag. Nothing crazy about that, nothing special. They're pretty cheap. So inside of it, I've got a few items that I, I definitely want to have on me. So first and foremost, I have a helmet uh, with a night vision shroud, um, a night vision mount, my Comtac 3s uh, for hearing protection and communications, uh, my push to talk, and all of that is actually hooked up to it, just kind of spooled up here on the back. So if I need to plug this into my radio, which is currently inside of my, my truck right now, I can just do that, no problem at all. Uh, I've got a counterweight on the back of here. Going along with that, I've got my night vision. This is just a White Foss PVS-14. Uh, I've got a shock cord here with a uh, battery holder that's got Velcro on it so I can slap this on the back and it adds as an additional layer of retention in case this thing jettisons off the mount. Uh, I keep a battery just tucked in here, ready to go. Next up, I've got a chest rig. Some situations you're gonna wanna run a chest rig, some you're gonna wanna run a plate carrier. I'm not gonna get into the pedantics of that right now. All I know is uh, these don't stop bullets and a plate carrier does. Uh, however, you can't really ruck very well with a plate carrier on, so take that for what you will. On here, I've got a uh, Gerber strong arm. It's great for kind of bush crafting kind of stuff. I don't really use it for, you know, fighting knife. I'm, it's not really what you have knives on your kit for in my opinion. Uh, in here we've got some mild boo-boo stuff, some hand warmers, some liquid IV, and a little energy gel packet. We've got a uh, Gen 7 cat tourniquet and a glow stick right there. I've got a pencil that can do red and white light on it. And then I've got a Shaw Concepts document stacker right back here. This is a really easy way to just store flat items. So like your protractor, your right in the rain notebook, uh, frog tape, um, mylar blankets, and then your signal mirror and all that fun jazz. 
Again, I'm just being really quick about this because I don't want to have to waste your guys' time. And then I've got medical equipment right here. This is a blowout pouch. Uh, I believe it's from Blue Force Gear, Blue Alpha Gear, one of those two. I think it's Blue Force Gear. Um, and then I've got a pair of trauma shears right here as well. So that's the chest rig. I also do have uh, gloves and tape here in the event that you need it, but there's that. Next up, the thing that stops bullets. I've got a defense mechanisms plate carrier with a Spiritus sack dangler, uh, trauma shears there, and all of that. A uh, cat tourniquet there, and then this is full of medical equipment. So pop this open real quick. Got all, this, all the fun stuff. You got your quick clot, you've got your uh, chest seals, all that stuff, and you need to know how to use it, so don't just buy it and don't get training. Take at least a Stop the Bleed class, guys. It'll help you out a lot. I do keep the back of my plate carrier slick. In my opinion, you're much better off running a bag on the back, so like an assault pack. Uh, it's something that you can easily get to. You're not always going to be in a team environment. Uh, preferably you are, but you're not always gonna be in a team environment. You can't rely on people to grab stuff off your back panel for you. So uh, I don't really run a back panel. I just run it slick, and then I run a uh, uh, assault pack or a ruck if I need to. And then the creme de la creme, we've got I believe this is uh, 720 rounds of M855. Uh, keep it all from the same manufacturer, that way your zero doesn't shift at all. Um, and then just make sure they're reliable mags. Uh, these ones don't really get much use, uh, so they just stay loaded in here. And this keeps everything nice and dry, and you don't have to worry about anything, you know, jettisoning or falling apart or rounds shifting around and all that. And then last up, we've got electronics, the stuff that supports your electronics specifically. So I'm not gonna get into comm stuff, I'll just save that for a later video, but you will have like your ATAC equipment or um, Mesh-tastic, whatever you guys are deciding to run, you're gonna have to have a way to support that. So in here, this is a Magpul DACA pouch. I think this is a size large. Excellent bags for this kind of thing. I highly recommend them. Uh, they have a water resistant zipper. They're not waterproof or anything like that, but it's a good way to keep everything contained. As you'll see, there's a lot of stuff in here. So I'm actually gonna slide this back and I'll lay this stuff out here. So we've got first and foremost, a battery charger that takes USB type C. So I can plug that into my truck or power bank, as you'll see. I've got a little 3D printed enclosure right here that holds batteries. You can run CR123s or 18650s or 18350s in here. Uh, it's just a nice neat way to keep them protected and all together. Right here, this is a new project that I've been working on. This is a Raspberry Pi that I have set up as a wireless access point and server. So I can connect to my electronics such as my cell phone or somebody else's cell phone can connect to it and they can uh, receive map data, uh, Wikipedia, anything like that that, that, I, that I choose to put on the server, uh, you can throw that on here and it's a really easy way to uh, connect everything and keep everything that you need as far as information that doesn't necessarily fit on your phone or you want to share with other people. Right here I have a 128 gig micro SD card. You can run up to I think 256 or 512 on a Raspberry Pi uh, and they're getting a lot cheaper so I would definitely recommend doing something like this for your data, uh, data needs. The advantage to running a Raspberry Pi is uh, it doesn't have a display to drive or anything like that, so they tend to be a lot more power efficient. In order to power all your electronics, you're gonna want some kind of battery source that's portable and fast. Uh, this is a Ugreen uh, 20,000 milliamp hour power bank. It's capable of putting out 100 watts. Not gonna get into all the technicalities of it, but you can charge a laptop off of one of these if it supports it and uh, a lot of other things. I also carry a uh, spare radio battery from my uh, radio of choice, Aliens HD1. Uh, if you're carrying Motorola or whatever, just make sure you have spare batteries. Uh, as far as cables go, you can Velcro tie cables. Uh, I recently went on a trip and these got a little disorganized. Don't worry about that too much. But uh, this is a USB-A uh, cable to USB-C. If I need to use a standard wall charger and they don't have USB-C, I want to have that option. This is a USB-C cable that is six feet long. It supports 100 watts over it. So if you're charging a laptop or something like that, you won't have any throttling issues. If you have guys running iPhones, tell them to uh, get rid of it and get an Android and de-Google it, but uh, I digress. Uh, you're gonna want some kind of charging cable for that. And I also have a spare um, antenna cable here. If I need to reroute my antenna to a different location on my kit somewhere, I can do that with this. Uh, it just screws into the radio and then screws into the antenna. These DACA pouches are awesome for this kind of thing. Just holding all this stuff together and uh, being in a durable package that's somewhat water and splash resistant is also a plus. 
we just need to be cognizant of the fact that there's a lot more to being a prepared citizen than just having cool things like rifles. Uh, you have to have water, you have to have food, you have to have medical equipment, you have to have uh, sustainable resources, so you know, things like you know, seeds, knowing how to garden in the first place. Things like that can go a long ways to help you and your friends uh, survive in the event that there is a, uh, I guess, I don't know, apocalyptic event or massive civil unrest situation. Having resources and having the ability to, I don't know, see at night or stop holes from happening or make holes if you need to can bring you to an edge that a lot of other people can't meet. Just having a little bit of self-reliance and self-sustainability goes a long ways to help make sure that you don't need to uh, do anything bad if you don't have to and also just kind of, you know, take care of yourself and your family. The vast majority of people don't have more than maybe a day or two worth of food and water in their house. Uh, if the water goes out somewhere, uh, they've got maybe a couple bottles of water in the fridge or maybe a case of Coke or something like that. Uh, having the ability to uh, survive for a couple weeks, uh, as long as you ration everything properly, can go a long ways to make sure that you don't die in the event that something bad happens. An example of this is the average grocery store has roughly 72 hours, give or take, of food for any given area if the trucks stop rolling. Having the ability to take care of yourself and take care of your family goes a very long ways. Thanks for watching, guys. If you did like this video, go ahead and subscribe. If you didn't, I don't know, unsubscribe if you're subscribed or whatever, I don't care. It's really awesome to see everyone's input on everything, so if you could go ahead and drop a comment down below, I would love to see what you guys have to say about this situation. I'm not sure if you guys have uh, different ideas for what you need. I would like to hear them down below. Lastly, do something today to prepare yourself for tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Do I have an audience? Yeah. You girls watching me? Watching me film YouTube? Yeah. Y'all are ridiculous.